Hello, darlings, and welcome uh, to keep me company while I create some summer art for Finnebar, as you know, as the creative team member of Finnebar. I have a bit different project in mind for this um, video, and I must confess that it's not the cleverest idea and maybe it's not recommend if you don't want to live dangerously uh, to test something and record while you are making it. You see, I have wanted to test for a long time if I could make a dimensional art using only vinegar um, um, materials. Uh, some textured canvas or something and I thought I would make um, ATC card using uh, the idea I have in mind so let's see if it works shall we first I am going okay you can see I have my air condition in full fast we have over um, 30 degrees Celsius um, in here so it's rather hot um, so let's see if I can keep these uh, in place this is tissue paper um, by Finnebar and this is the soft matte gel which I am now using to um, attach I want texture as I said so I am going to apply some soft material and then really crumble some tissue paper on top so that uh, I can easily start Um, a dimensional project. Okay, and okay, I absolutely forgot I um, was going to add <laughs> gesso um, beneath it, but it's okay. Mm. I'm dreaming of a huge canvas. Um, that I am going to uh, make into an art piece by using some mediums by Finnebar and then I want to test if you can use probably someone has uh, already and of course someone has already done it but I haven't um, tested myself does impasto paints really work uh, like, you know, artist um, papers? Oh, <laughs> Sorry, artist um, acrylics um, from artist brands, artist, you know, material brands, or um, can I use mixed media instead? Because I have a in, uh, an inkling that um, when I simply know my stuff, I can do it. Okay, then I have already forgotten to uh, add some charge my <clears throat> laptop so I can record this now it's taken care of sorry because you know I just started this on a whim and I haven't actually thought it through but when you get an idea now I test if I add heavy gesso at this point, 
Does it make a difference or not? Mm, in here. I love the tissue paper because it uh, gives you such a nice possibility to add some texture and um, you know dimension in it in your work so. okay and then another because I don't want it to stick into my fingers when I turn it uh, upside down and um, fold the edges below. So that's why I'm heating it at this moment to make sure it doesn't stick into my fingers and fall off from, from here. It's Right, uh, hot. Okay. Let's probably have figured it out if you have watched my video or follow me on my social media. I do love C. I I um, adore everything sea related and uh, especially the sea colors so i thought i am going to use tat as the theme of my atc cards i am trying to make um, textured C art pieces um, sorry uh, I was just thinking ahead <laughs> at the same time I tried to speak sorry okay so uh, what I have in mind is um, to first have this basic texture with these um, tissue papers then I am going to prime them with gesso and then add some texture and finally paint them so that's the marching order at the moment so now it's gesso time I want to go around the edges and make sure that all the sides have primed too. Okay. This is the first priming layer. I think it will need another one. Or then this is just perfect actually. With the coloring. I think it is. Okay. So okay. 
And now I have here some paper texture paste and oops. what I am going to do now, I don't need soft gel anymore, so I put this aside. This belongs in there. Okay. What I am thinking is testing uh, paper texture paste. You know the one looking like. I don't know if you can. No. Sorry, um, my phone doesn't know how to focus on that one, but paper texture paste, um, it will, um, well, opaque, opaque matte uh, paste with matte finish, similar to handcrafted paper, hard and permanent when dry, perfect for creating natural looking texture and adding dimension. Create for journal pages, collage, home decor, and more. For best effects, apply with a palette knife, texture tool, or silicone brush. For more interest, try mixing with acrylic paints, inks, makeup powders, or other products from Art Ingredients line. So, that's what I am going to do now. I am going to, going to add there some mini art tones. These. Okay, actually, for another one, let's go crazy and test if I can make a, you know, cliff in there. Like, you know, those chalk cliffs. Um, in, you know, for example, Seven Sisters, Seven Sisters in Britain, my favorite piece um, and place in the whole world. world. And I, I did just a hint of chest so to make sure that um, I can actually uh, get these stick together because they are really just um, paper texture paste is all, already quite stiff and when you add these art tones in there it's really mm. sorry <laughs> can't seem to even close and then I forgot what I was saying. Sorry, I'm just so exciting to test this. Now I'm trying to imitate um, some um, uh, waves and foam, like in the sea. And let's see if I can make it. Sorry, I need to. bit so you can actually see something and still it's um, rather hard to see because of the lightning. I need to um, keep the curtains um, down because of the extreme heat outside and the sunshine and um, then somehow my camera and laptop seems not to understand I want light. Okay. Okay, now I have 
way too much leftovers of this, but I'll sprinkle some water on top and cover it with a moist baby wipe. Baby wipe? <laughs> baby wipe? <laughs> baby wipe? Okay, I'm... Um, I'm not um, talking um, sense today. But I just um, thought that it, this would actually be rather a lovely idea to create some tiny little pieces of art during summertime uh, without uh, quite that much fuss. Um, maybe more abstract or even childish, like impressionist, not impressionist, but you know, um, in a way that it's not um, the main point is um, to splash on colors and texture and not um, to resemble anything that much so let's see what happens I think I'll need to put this aside and start with this one this is dry almost dry already while well, this is of course because there is this cliff top in there it's much more needy with the uh, drying time now I am again covering the whole thing with So, oh, and then I forgot I was supposed to wait. Oh, me. Well, now you see what um, crafting might be like. Maybe yours is sophisticated and you are always knowing what you are doing and you can focus and you can, uh, you know, plan ahead. But <clears throat> this is me. I try to I try to just a bit sorry not working not working I need to um, test if it's any help for if I go to all light like this? No, it doesn't. I'm sorry, I'm making this a mess. Let's stick to the original lightning, although. It's shining too darkly, but here it is. Uh, this is the cliff of one I ruined with my um, my my brush, and uh, this is the other one. As you can see, total mess. Nothing clear. Nothing to um, remind of anything whatsoever, except. Or uh, the background color is giving a hint at this point. So let's see. Okay, and now I'm putting the gesso away and impasto uh, blue. Uh, monar blue, pitch black, linen, and of course I need also white. This one. Okay. 
and there. I had this idea that I need a paperwork and that I want to give it a wash of tiny warm blueness soft blueness with a warm hint uh, you know maybe um, resembling um, sunset may maybe and then I apply it with a gentle touch does it's quite mm, dry already so another one and then here this, this is just to remind me that there is supposed to be another color in there and This is the background color um, because I think it's best to test if I simply add layers upon layers like I would be uh, doing an actual oil or acrylic painting. And you can, of course, leave the texture, pastes, and stones off from your work, but I suspect it's the team making um, them just the right way of unpredictable. Then I put a bit of uh, white acrylic paint into my um, palette knife and try to imitate clouds. Okay, that's the sky. That's the sky. And with this one. That's the sky. As you can see, not much posh, just to create something. Although this is this line is a bit too deep, so I'll make it like this, and then sky is ready. Or starting to maybe get my idea and of course when you are looking at the video you uh, already see the end result which I at this point um, I have not the advantage of that but I need to create it okay and now I am doing the same with the cliff I add Okay. I want it in there. Ready? And now I am going to need 
and not a plate. Liquid acrylics. I think Prussian blue would be ideal. At least um, for my choice of coloring, it's not too bright, but really dark. Just a hint of ink black. warm sunshine in there we will see let's start with this one and I am going to take a clean water because I don't want my uh, paint to be murky and I have a baby wipe and my uh, spray bottle and we will see. Uh, ink black and burnt sienna. I want a darkish color. I'm a bit nervous. it reacts like I want it to with the texture and it kind of uh, gives a tiny foam effect. how this works. I think I'll put this aside uh, to dry and do the same thing with with this one. I don't know about you but I do have a um, favorite um, spot I'm always dreaming of and thinking of and, and for me it's the Berlin Gap in uh, England, Great Britain. It's It's the one place I'm always um, yearning to go back to. And um, by the sea in general, I love the idea of fresh air and oxygen, you know, when you have lung problems. Um, sea air is just you know, you can't compete with it. Okay, now I am trying to get just a hint of some warm glow in there. And I always struggle with, you know, the idea of adding 
yellow with anything. Uh, blue because you know what happens when you mix yellow and blue. It's hardly going to look like sunset, but it's going to look uh, green. So. Just a hint like this. Okay, and then here too. But with this one now, I need a bit darker, darker colors in there. You know, I remember um, from my childhood that my grandparents had this um, sea painting on their wall. I am going to kind of frame this with dark color so um, it will make it more um, having some structure maybe. Yes and so so I was fascinated by the painting on the wall of my grandparents' home uh, because it was um, of the sea, of sea, and I think it was. I might be uh, incorrect, but I think it was from the near um, near. Um, it was reprinted presenting the nearby sea um, we live uh, quite near it and the grey hard rock um, stone well hard rock you know um, it uh, depicted uh, the huge uh, canvas and for me it was a strange painting because it was made of something that actually these days I can um, I do know that it had some kind of you know those mini art stones in there and texture but I hadn't ever seen a painting having some texture in it and really a strong um, vibrant and determinant um, palette knife strokes it it was not made with brush it was made with um, palette knife and I could almost hear and see and taste the waves that were splashing um we here at the um coast western the southwestern coast of finland we and especially living by um near pori uh we do go when it's um stormy we go to the this particular beach uh just to marvel the wonder of nature when the um waves clashes and splashes and roar to the uh, 
hard, cold stone bedrock. And um, the painting, uh, it was scary and magnificent at the same time and, and fascinating and, and beautiful. Not, it was not, I couldn't um, describe it as a beautiful as a child, but, and it's still not, it's, um, but um, there was something in there completely different when you look something pretty um, it really um, makes you feel and that uh, was the idea I am not going to achieve these uh, with these uh, ATC cards but I want to create that kind of feeling with a mixed media art um, mediums just uh, to um, with some incredible, incredibly simple brush strokes or palette knife strokes to get um, the message through to the um, to anyone who watch it to see that okay, this is the cliff top. You won't be seeing it from this one, but, but one day, one day, uh, or rowing sea or or something i i find that idea really um fascinating no but um important for me okay so because i could uh, start uh, doing this and that and and then some while Mm, even more but I'm just going to make sure that these clip tops of mine are colored a bit I'm adding some white Impasto on top. And then just a line in there okay now I want some final touches with uh, first white impasto paint with a palette knife and then uh, with some effect or actually texture pastes pastes but First, my polymer. Let's take a new okay. Let's see if I I'll mess this up uh, desperately. I'm trying to add some whiteness um, in there. Mm -hmm. I want a couple of lines like this, but somehow. doesn't want to collaborate. I need my skills. 
Okay. So lined of liquid acrylic paint on top. like this <laughs> actually you don't um, you can't uh, look um, closely then you kind of lose what it looks like it's better to watch from from far above but and this, uh, sorry, this is how it looks from really cl close. And you look closely, and this one, it looks like this splashing <laughs> waves. I think this, um, of course, you probably have already tested these kinds of things but this is um, this might be actually a good uh, project when you really want to get your brains into a holiday uh, summer holiday mood and into something else from your basic ordinary life and its duties and so on just to splash something with an or an enormous two enormous canvas or then just to, you know some uh, tiny ATC cards. I think jewel paste, effect paste, cold and dust might might offer what I need. So let's figure it out. I want a golden sunset. Okay, and I also want a bigger brush. Not much, but this this will do. Okay, let's start with this one. I want just a hint of it. Um, like this. Okay, you can't see because it's uh, not dry yet, but uh, soon I'll show you soon. And here I want uh, the sun to kind of envelope the cliffs into the golden glow too. So here it goes. There's a warm glow in there. I'm sorry the light is so how do I um no that won't be helpful. How do I get you to see it without 
any reflections from the lamps. Maybe it tastes like this is not quite like um, in natural light from my view, my point of view, and this. Is how the other one looks. Okay, and a hint of mermaid effect paste um, because I want to see to have a cloud too. Um, this is not strictly really artistic thing to do, but. Uh, because I happen to have mermaid effect paste and I happen to have a C project, uh, why not? So I'm adding a hint of it in there and make a bling bling mm. <laughs> or as my eight-year-old say really um, seriously a unicorn poo uh, kind of uh, outcome and then they are ready I could continue but I will not want you to see the finished look. <laughs> Sparkling. Let's see, let's summer project a bit abstract or um, plain childish but fun it was fun and I can't wait to test it with a huge canvas to just let go and splash and um, use strong lines and so on so if you have made projects like this please 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 I would really love to for you to show me uh, those but here they are my C project <laughs> and I wish you inspirational summer moments and I do hope there is the weather isn't too hot for you to enjoy um, and I thank you so much for keeping my company and watching and see you soon again. Bye bye.